Alright, what's going on guys? Hope you're all doing good. We've got a super cold day today. It's March, but it's dropped freezing cold again. It was really warm for a couple of weeks, but it was super windy. So I couldn't get out on the boat. Finally the wind's died off and it's freezing. There's actually ice in the boat. Um, it's sunny, so hopefully it'll warm up, but yeah, it's very, very cold start. I'm hoping the pike will be biting. This time of year on this particular lake, they're usually quite good, but I was speaking to the guy that runs it and apparently they've been struggling to catch a little bit um <laughs> been some good days been some bad days i think someone was out yesterday they had nine pike to the boat well between two of them which isn't that good for a full day's fishing on this lake to be fair um but yeah we'll see how it goes got my lighter rod got my heavier rod we're gonna cover water like always we're gonna do a lot of casts and hopefully catch a few fish that's how we're going to spend the morning this afternoon i've got a plan for a different video so yeah 7 a.m right now let's see how long it takes to get the first fish i'm excited like i say love fishing this place so yeah let's get started got the lighter rod set up first and yeah cover some reed lines see if they're in there ready to spawn or post spawn i don't think they'll have spawned yet but we'll see so yeah hope you guys enjoy Okay guys, we're getting to the first reed line, so we're gonna start doing some casts. Just got a small lure on this, 12 centimeter drunk bait. See if there's any small jacks in the reed line. Let's throw my bigger bait up for a little bit. Oh yeah. Lovely Akuma sound. Ah, follower. Follower, follower, follower. Okay. That was a slow follow as well. He was like three, four foot behind the bait then. Another follower. Two followers now then. Both from the same spot. Both tiny fish. Might try the small lure past those. See how they react. There's at least two jacks down this area so see how I feel about that Jeez, there we go though. oh no <laughs> that one hit that one hit damn okay the small bait tail grabber brand new out of the pack this look oh, we got a hit though we got a hit That one's not. There we go. That feels a lot better than what I saw as well. That one hit it nicely then. Oh, it's a better fish. <laughs> Turn that drag a little. Oh, it's pulling drag and everything. That ain't so bad to start with. Two, two tiny jacks followed it. One hit. And then a reasonable one stuck it. It's not monster. No! And then he just let go like that. Oh man. That was a nice looking fish that. <laughs> Bugger me. Oh well. At least we've had a few bites now. And again, there we go. Oh, that's a decent one again. It's not massive, but you're coming in the net, bud. You're coming in the net, bud. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. <laughs> I wasn't letting that go. Ain't a massive fish, but it's a goddamn fish. Let's go, boys. We're on. We're off the freaking mark this morning. It's a jack. We're getting excited, but it's a jack, but. I'll take it. <laughs> it's bigger than the ones that followed, I'll tell you that. There we go. First fish. It ain't a monster, probably a 70. It's quite skinny. But uh, yeah, I'll take that after a few contacts. Just swiped it, hooked right at the back of the mouth there. Boom, hooks out. Let's get a length on this. Just, uh, you know, I'm going to say it's a 73 centimeter pike. Oh, it's bigger. 79. Wow. 
Okay, it looks pretty damn small, but that's a 79. Uh, long and skinny, so we'll get that back. See baby boy. Straight back to the bottom. Missed fish, few follows, but there's the first one landed. 12 centimeter drunk bait, perfect little search bait, and yeah, all around catch a lot of fish bait. So let's get number two now. Probably sit in this area five more minutes and then we'll uh, start moving again. But stoked to get one in the boat. There's one. Oh, it's such a good hit then. That hit is so hard. What the hell? <laughs> that was slammed into it. Small guy, but boom, baby. <laughs> So good. Oh, he's nailed it. Yes, sir. Number two. And there's the leader. Oh, yes, he's inhaled that bait. Oh, that hit to die for. Ain't too bad, to be fair. But, yeah, that hit. Oh, buddy, let go of the bait. <laughs> he's nearly pulled it off the goddamn jig. Number two. That's like a 70 again, I think. They just lean. Yeah, it is a 70. Just 70.5. Crazy. See you, baby. Number two, same bait. That hit was spectacular, though. So, so good. Hammered the jig completely then. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll fix them up. They will feed. That bite was not a shy fish, that's for sure. There's one. Not even in the edge. Oh, oh it's gone. Damn. Open water cast that. So they aren't oh man. That's not good. They aren't all in the reed lines. That's for sure. Okay, first reed line works. Uh do a couple of open casts. Open water casts and then we're gonna head up to the next reed line. Work that one. And then we'll fish them open water after. Before going to the third, there's a fish open water. <laughs> yes, sir. They out there. They out there. That's the smallest one yet. But it is a fish, so we will take him. Come here, baby. Sorry about the melter. Well, dude, it's like a 60. Easy, 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 easy. You gotta hold these fish super tight. Man, I've got mine to get hooked in the bottom lip somehow. But uh, yeah, a bit awkward that. Oh man, we're wobbling all over. Number three, coming in at a impressive 62 centimeters. Beauty. See you, boy. Slammer. There we go. Oh yes, finally. I was just about to drop my anchor because I was sure there'd be some pike in this area. And uh, yeah, there we go, boom. Ain't a massive one, but I'm not saying bait. Oh, I count that one, that counts. <laughs> that counts for me. Like I was saying, one a massive fish, but yeah, I was sure there'd be fish here. I was just about to drop my anchor and say, we'll fan cast it with a bunch of baits, which I'm still gonna do, to be honest. But, oh yeah, it's nice to get an open water hit. Small fish, but slammed it. Right, another spot here that can be pretty good pre spawn. So we'll see if they're at home. Out of the wind, which is nice for me, but can make the fish a little bit followy. So we'll see if they're home anyway. Should be able to convert, convert some to buy if they're here. So it's whether they are here or not, it's been difficult to find them. Oh, our big follow first cast. Okay, they're here. That was a, that was a double. That was a uh, 12, 13 pound fish. First cast follow, boom. Stayed deep though. It wasn't like right on the bait. It was a nice fish. Ooh, okay. 
That was nice to see. Fall out, fall out. Come on, baby. That was on. See in the water there? Jack follower. They're here then. Well, like I say, no wind and clear water. Get a lot of followers, but it's good, cool to see them though. Now I've got these glasses on as well. I can see them from pretty far away, which is always nice. But that guy was on it like pretty like into the bait, you know, but just didn't take it. Again, 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 again. That was a smaller fish that. So there is a few jacks around there. Yep. Oh my god, that was a hit again. That was pulled the jig off again. They're here, they are here. <sighs> Come on, baby. Don't be shy. I know you're hungry. Oh my god, again. Come on, bro. Pull the jig. Oh, he's on it still. Come on, he's pulled the jig half off, but. It's still falling. Now he's turned. God damn. Just tail nibbling at the minute. There's a bunch of fish around this area though. It's cool. I'm going to get a little closer so I can cast to the reed lines as well and then I'll probably drop an anchor for a little bit. But I found a few. They're in the spawny areas. That's why I wasn't finding too many out in the open bits. Okay. Start a big drift now. And uh Put the main camera on for this and we'll see how it goes the glasses don't suit me very well do they okay last push one more pie for the morning it's, yeah nearly half 11 so not long left of this first half of the day get our drift on get some goddamn fish caught That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's that's a good fish that just hit that. Yeah, that's a very nice fish. Please do not come off. Holy cow. It's on the surface already. Oh, it's just it's just wrapped. It felt so good. It's just a small one, but it's got wrapped in the line. Ah. Oh. And there he goes. <laughs> Unraveled as he gets to the deck. Finally, pie number 5. Oh, I thought it was going to be a huge fish, uh, but it ain't. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, like a 65. It's got a lovely blue sheen on it. You guys probably can't even see that on the camera. But yeah, the braid, you see where it's wrapped him here? Oh, if you can see that on the camera. The, uh, the braid was wrapped around his stomach somehow. So, yeah. It's number five landed finally now. 66 centimeters. Number five. Oh my God, that took a while. See you, boy. <laughs> On the 12 centimeter drum bait. I'm gonna keep this drift going. Um, so I've had a couple of contacts, so we'll see if we can get another one now. But that was a long time coming, that fish. I'll tell you. Oh, so happy. It felt freaking huge on that hook set, but my guy was wrapped. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll finish this drift and then see if we get another fish and then I'll probably call it for the morning. There we go. Can we get another one, boys? <laughs> Why am I losing all these fish? Friggin' single hooks, man. That hook is sharp as hell as well. Oh, I just cracked off. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna call it there. We just lost a fish, we just cracked off, so I'm gonna have to retie anyway. Show the anchor here a sec. So, yeah. Take those off, because like, yeah, they don't see me. Um, yeah, that is good too for this video. Super weird day, like I've had contact with probably 20 fish today. I'm not even, 
Yeah, not exaggerating. I only had five to the boat. I've had like that one. At least five do that where they've hooked and pop off. Loads of tail nibbles. Quite a few follows as well. And it's been a weird day. I'd say at least 20 different fish we've had contact with. But, you know, five hours of fishing, five fish to the boat. It's not amazing, boat fishing and getting those numbers. But it could be a lot worse. So... Yeah, I shouldn't complain really too much. I'm kind of bummed out I've got a retie, but you know, it's the way she goes. 12 centimetre drunk bait champagne was that last colour I was using before I was using the bourbon. Um, yeah, super nice search bait. Make sure you check them out or, you know, any other 12 centimetre baits, you know, the bleaks or whatever you like. They all do the same thing. Sick them on a jig head, cast cover a ton of water find the fish hopefully we struggled today i was expecting them to be shoaled and they've been spread like crazy but we caught so that's all that matters so we've got a plan for this afternoon's video so hope as i was saying before the camera rudely ran out of battery i have a plan for this afternoon's video it might be difficult i've not got high hopes after this morning but now it's warming up a little bit they might start feeding so hopefully it goes well and there'll be another video to follow after this but that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stuff I've used is going to be in the description. Rodfather, 14 to 42 gram. Shimano Corrado Reel. Drunk bait. Easy peasy. So, yeah. Catch you guys in the next one.